Hi, I'm John with uh, Taos Tiny Houses. This is our tiny house, Primo. Come on inside. Nice big entry door uh, so that you can get all your stuff in here without much problem. And behind the door, you'll see that uh, we have a nice big open bench area. And behind uh, curtain number one is our uh, solar system. Plug and play, easy to uh, understand system all in one. And, uh, and it's you can hide it behind the curtain or you can um, leave it exposed. And then uh, nice big open uh, windows all around so that it gives the house a nice big open feeling. There's a nice loft up there which you can use for storage or somebody could sleep up there too, I imagine. Um, and we have a nice table here for uh, eating at or whatever. It's, it, as you can see, it comes up and collapses. Underneath the bench, we have storage, a lot of storage on the right side. And the left side has the batteries for the solar system and the electrical box. Um, if we keep going around in this direction, you'll see the heater. It's a nice Martin heater. It's big enough, plenty big for this space. Um, and it works without electricity. So if power goes out, you don't have to worry about being cold, which is really nice. And then over here, we have a nice open kitchen area. Um, uh, probably the copper countertops caught your eye. A nice, um, a uh, local artist installed this for us uh, and um, we're happy with that. The nice big cabinets, big cabinet space. The stove, four burner stove, and it has a nice big oven so that you can cook just about anything you want and uh, and then obviously this is a nice uh, sink there's two basins if you're a kitchen person you'll appreciate this uh, kitchen space as much as I do coming down through here into the bathroom uh, the first thing you'll see is an on-demand hot water heater nice Renai uh, quite adequate for this space um, you'll never run out of hot water with that thing Underneath the hot water heater, underneath here, is a big water storage tank so that if you don't have your house hooked up to water supply, you can bring water in and keep it in the tank. And there's, there's a pump which will supply the water for the house in, in, uh, instead of the pressure from your water system. And then uh, if you look around, you'll see copper uh, water lines. The copper is exposed for looks and for uh, practicality. It's if it's inside the envelope, it won't get uh, cold and freeze. So that you can see that the water comes on everywhere. And then we have a spot here for a toilet. Um, it's designed for either a conventional toilet or a composting toilet. I do have a composting toilet coming in the mail. So I'll install that as soon as it uh, arrives. Uh, you can see that it's also plumb for a regular toilet and there's a vent for the bathroom. There's more storage here, a nice little niche for your exit incidentals. Um, and so as we leave the bathroom, you can see that we have a nice little pocket door for the bathroom. Gives you some privacy if you want it and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Nice fridge that's adequate for uh, as many people as you'd feel comfortable <laughs> living in this space with. Obviously two people, no problem. And more storage space under the steps with this big storage area, which can be used for storage or it's hooked up for a uh, combination washer dryer unit, which uh, it probably would be nice to be able to do laundry in your own house like any other house. And then we have these uh, steps that lead right up to the loft with a nice Handrail here to keep you safe as you're going up and down. Um, when you come up here, you'll see that the flooring up here in the loft is the same flooring that's used down below. It's a uh, state-of-the-art waterproof flooring that um, we just kind of couldn't resist to put in here. All right, and then we can come right back down the steps and we can see that everything is hooked up the solar system is ready to go it's working 
and uh, there you go. Thanks for taking a tour of uh, Primo. Hope you enjoyed it. Hi, it's John again with uh, Taos Tiny Houses, and uh, we're here with Primo, but I wanted to give you a tour of the outside of uh, Primo. The first thing I want to point out to you is that we have two outlets here. This one is actually for uh, if you if this if you're if you don't have power for like sunlight for two or three days and you need power you might need to charge the system with some batteries or plug it into a um, electrical supply and you can do that through here and then this is just a regular outdoor outlet which you know it's nice to have one of those in your house um, then you'll see that the siding is uh, this nice corrugated metal siding it's very durable. It's designed to rust and give it that nice look of uh, um, antique, if you will. And then the other siding is cedar, which will last a real long time and is impervious to all kinds of things. And the windows are state of the art uh, Pella double pane windows. And uh, there's quite a few of them throughout the house. Um, this is the area where the solar panels can hang. You'll see the panels in a little while, but part of the solar system, we have three solar panels that are in a rack that can be attached to the side of the house for transport. Or if the ha this side of the house is facing south, you can adjust the angle so that the panels can just stay on the house and uh, face south and collect energy from the sun. And then you'll see the, sol the um, propane tanks here. These are adequate for the uh, demands of the house as far as heating the house and the stove and everything else. Um, the trailer is quite obvious from this point uh, of view. This is a uh, trailer, made trailer, made in Colorado. It's specifically designed for a uh, tiny house and it is, uh, it is a strong foundation. You won't have any problems with the trailer. Uh, that this house sits on and then you'll come around this way and you'll see the, where the water hooks up and you can also see where you fill up the tank if you don't have a regular hose to connect from a water supply you can fill up the tank here and use the pump um, we have the vent for the on-demand hot water heater the vent for the uh, the oven vent and then this is the vent for the uh, for the home heater um, what you can't see and what's underneath the outside is the insulation, which is spray foam insulation, which is all throughout the entire envelope. The house is incredibly tight and as insulated as it can possibly be. Um, and then you'll see right here, these are the solar panels, which um, can, like we said, hang on to the side of the house for travel or for use if the house is facing south. And then they also can stand in there where they are now on the stand system and they're on and uh, it's quite adequate for this space. So, I hope you like Primo. Thanks for taking a look.